In this video, I am going to discuss about budgeted profits reconciliation. Budgets are prepared for a specific period of time before actual results can be obtained. We discussed about how the budgets are prepared in early videos. After the actual performance are measured, variances can be identified and calculated. We also discussed about the variance analysis in greater detail in early videos. In order to calculate the actual profit figure, budgeted profit have to be reconciled using the variances. So now what we have to do is we have to reconcile the budgeted profit using the variances in order to arrive at the actual profit figure. Now you know about these statements. These are the budgeted statement of profit and loss. This is for the marginal costing and this is for the absorption costing. These are the financial statements we prepared under budgeting. So now what we have to do is we have to reconcile the budgeted profit using the variances in order to arrive at the actual profit. So all of these sales revenue, variable cost of sales, non-production variable cost, contribution and non-production cost and finally the net profit. All of these values are budgeted values. So what we have to do is we have to use the variances in order to arrive at the actual profit. If the inventories are the same for the period, marginal and absorption profits will be the same. We discussed about this under marginal and absorption costing. If the closing inventory are higher, absorption profit will be higher than marginal profit. If the closing inventories are lower, marginal profit will be higher than absorption profit. Now let's discuss about how to reconcile the budgeted profits using the variances. First of all, let's discuss about the absorption costing, what we have to do under absorption costing system. So this is the budgeted statement of profit and loss for absorption costing. We have the sales revenue, cost of sales, then we have to adjust for the over and absorption and then we can calculate the gross profit. This is the budgeted amount. So in order to reconcile the profit, we have to start from the gross profit under absorption costing. So this budgeted gross profit amount will be the first line of profit reconciliation statement for absorption costing. So this value we enter here. Then what we have to do is we have to adjust this value for sales variances. So there are two sales variances sales volume profit variance and sales price variance. So what we have to do is we have to adjust the budgeted profit amount to the sales variances. If the variances are favorable, we add this value to the gross profit amount. If the variances are adverse, we are going to deduct these values from the gross profit amount. So we can arrive at the adjusted gross profit amount. Then what we have to do is we have to adjust for the cost variances. All of the cost variances should be included here, such as direct material, direct labor, variable overhead and fixed overhead. If the variances are favorable, we add here. If the variances are adverse, we add here. So finally, we can calculate the total favorable and total adverse variances, these figures. Then what we have to do is we have to add these two values in order to arrive at this value. If the total variance value is a favorable value or a positive value, we add this value to the adjusted budgeted gross profit amount. If this amount is a negative value, we deduct this value from the adjusted budgeted gross profit amount. So we can finally arrive at the actual gross profit amount. This can be a positive value or this can be a negative value. If it is a positive value, it is a profit. If it is a negative value, it will be a loss. So this is how we reconcile the budgeted profit under absorption costing system. Now let's discuss about how to reconcile the profit under marginal costing system. This is the budgeted statement of profit and loss under marginal costing system. We have the sales revenue and then we have to deduct the variable cost of sales and then we have to deduct the non-production variable cost. So we can arrive at the contribution. All of these values are budgeted values. So under absorption costing, we use the budgeted gross profit amount as the first line of profit reconciliation statement. Under marginal costing, we are going to use the budgeted contribution amount. So
so this will be the first line of the profit reconciliation statement for marginal costing we use the same technique as absorption costing first what we are going to do is we are going to add this value to the budgeted contribution if it is an adverse value we are going to deduct this value from the budgeted contribution so we can arrive at the adjusted budgeted contribution like for the absorption costing then what we are going to do is we are going to adjust for the cost variances there is a small difference which is we only use the fixed overhead expenditure variance and the fixed overhead variances because for marginal costing we can only calculate the fixed overhead expenditure variance which is equal to budgeted fixed overhead minus actual fixed overhead this is because under marginal costing there is no FOAR value so we can only calculate the fixed overhead expenditure value all the other variances are the same as absorption costing if the variances are favorable we can add to this column if the variances are adverse we can add to this column so finally we have to add all of these values and calculate the total favorable and the total adverse value and then add these two values in order to arrive at the total variance value which can be a positive value or which can be a negative value so finally we can deduct this value from the adjusted budgeted contribution so we can arrive at the actual gross profit now let's recap what we have learned so far under absorption costing what we have to do is we have to adjust the budgeted gross profit first using the sales variances then using the cost variances so finally we can arrive at the actual gross profit under marginal costing we have to consider budgeted contribution then we have to adjust for the sales variances after that we have to adjust for the cost variances so finally we can arrive at the actual gross profit this is how we can reconcile the budgeted profits under marginal costing and absorption costing using the variances. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.